What's up guys, do you want to get better at Smash? Of course you mean you watch my videos, so Metify is probably the best place for you to get sessions right now and get a lot better. There are a ton of different amazing coaches and you'll even find me on there. It's also not just for Smash, it can also be for different games like Brawlhalla or Pokemon or even chess. Anyways, if you want to book a session and become legitimately better, then there's no better time than now since offline is coming back. And you can very easily get a session by either joining my Discord or going to the Metafire webpage and you'll be able to see my schedule there and you can pick whatever time fits you. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to make this video more clickable. Kazuya made it into the Smash universe straight from Tekken and he has a lot of moves. Just like the other FGC characters, he will auto turn around and plays a bit of his own game. Mishima Karate enhanced by the Devil's Gene. Neutral B is Devil Blast. It aims high normally but can be aimed down or up. You can jump and shoot forward or down as well. Up won't work. It has a ton of lag, so it shouldn't be used so much for neutral, but instead used when characters are off stage or to read double jumps away, or characters that camp and refuse to approach. Side special is Devil Fist. You gain complete intangibility for 4 frames to mimic a sidestep and can punish opponents for attacking you with good timing. Hit opponents at max range and you'll just knock them upwards. Same thing with airborne opponents, they'll just get launched upwards. You can jump and do it to make the combos easier as well as you'll suffer slightly less lag, but it'll be initiated much slower than the grounded one. It's not safe against shield though, so be careful. You can also use this to recover as a mix-up as well. Up special is Devil Wings, and will go pretty high up as you can move it forward or backwards, and after you've used it, you'll float a bit. Use it with your double jump and you'll go really high. He does have a low short hop and full hop, meaning full hop wave dashes will be important for platform movement. Both your side special and up special can be acted out of. You can only use a side special or up special in the air though. You can't use two specials. Something important is that your double jump has a bit of an animation where you transform, and it'll take at least 11 plus frames till you start actually jumping and shifting your hurtbox, so a lot of the time you won't be trying to jump out of strings, unless you double jump and attack which cancels the animation so you can double jump out quicker, but you'll lose a lot of height. Down special is Heaven's Door. You'll grab the opponent and throw them to the ground for simple damage. You could go off stage with this, but you'll die first, and the opponent can try to recover. While grabbed, the player with the least amount of percent gets to push towards the direction where the slam will land. This can be used as an air-to-air -air if you predict the opponent's jumping in neutral or even during their disadvantage. Once his percent is over 100, he'll enter a once per stock mode called Rage. Your attack power will be multiplied 1.1 times, and you'll have access to a powerful once per stock throw called Rage Drive. The first way to input Rage Drive is with a simple grab. The second way is to just input down B, and the third way is to input a shorter you can command while holding down the attack button for the strongest version. Your Rage State will go away after using Rage Drive, as well as whiffing your grabs and attempts of Rage Drive 6 times will make the Rage go away. There is no time limit on the rage drive, however, once you take roughly 39%, it will go away, and it'll go away even earlier if you've missed grabs as well. Kazuya will have incredible power and a really good combat factor, especially because of his combos and him gaining rage at 100%. He's also a heavyweight, but will be very vulnerable as he recovers. He does, however, have somewhat low ranged moves and slower frame data to compensate for his strength. His jump squat, for example, is the only jump squat in the game that is frame 7. This means that his out of shield options will be extra slow since you have to wait 7 frames instead of 3, meaning his air-to-air -air and the airs will be slower than any other characters, as well as focusing on jumping and landing aerials will be slower and worse than most characters. This is the reason to why he might struggle against characters that pressure a lot from the air with good mix-ups as you'll want to generally stay as grounded as possible. To try staying true to the design of Tekken where jumping is usually a bad idea. Out of shield, he can up smash and up special which is frame 12, which by the way you can up smash out of shield behind you by releasing the shield button first. He can neutral air and forward air which is frame 15 out of shield, grab which is frame 11, but you're also able to press and release your jump and very quickly press forward up and A, or back up and A for two more out of shield options. To compensate, he has a movement option called crouch dash, which I'll talk more about later. He does also have the attribute known as tough guy, just like Bowser has, but slightly weaker, allowing you to power through certain weak hits and counter attack. This attribute will get worse and worse the higher percentage Kazuya is at. He will also have intangibility on literally every grounded move except his jab, aerials, and forward smash, although his smash attacks will have heavy armor. 
forward smash taking up to 10% damage, and up and down smash taking up to 6% damage. He also has the special attribute of having the least amount of hit lag in the game, which basically means you'll have no time to DI his attacks, and you'll have to be preemptive with your DI. His 10 hit combo starts with his frame 6 jab and can be done by either mashing A or holding A. It won't be safe against shield as it can be punished and even dodged and jumped out of, but the last hit is unblockable. And there's a visual cue for when the last hit is about to hit when you see the second to last hit spark some lightning. It also won't be that good to hit as you can just hold away and get out of it. If you leave a slight gap after the second jab then attack again, you'll use his flash punch combo, and it'll serve as a quick punish in front of you. His dash attack is leaping sidekick and is mostly a burst option to close the distance to the opponent and try killing with. Keep in mind that the blue that you see on Kazuya is where he will be intangible. If you quickly tilt the control stick forward twice and A, you'll perform left split kicks. Not only can this move be used for reflecting projectiles with good timing, but will also be decent on hit, as it combos against no DI and DI in, but won't combo against DI away. Kazuya will also have unique moves for 8 input directions, and it's recommended to gently input the control stick towards a direction while pressing A so that you don't get accidental smash attacks. Tilt up while pressing A twice and you'll perform twin pistons. You can also choose to only attack once and try comboing the opponent into other moves instead. More on this later. Tilt diagonally forwards and up and press A 4 times and you'll perform a roundhouse to triple spin kicks. It won't be safe at all against shield, but you can choose to stop the attack midway for mix-ups, and even on hit as a mix-up too. Tilt forward on the stick and press A and you'll perform Oni front kick. This kick is pretty strong and will send out a very low angle. Tilt diagonally forward and down and press A twice and you'll perform Tsunami kick. You can also choose to only attack once and try comboing the opponent instead. More on this later. This move will deal a ton of shield damage and can lead into an easy shield poke. Tilt down and press A to perform Neijiri Uraken. You'll attack while moving forward so it has decent range. This move can be cancelled with shield for mix-ups as well. It'll also be one of the rare moves that actually scales with percentage. So at low percent, you'll have to go for your quickest follow-ups, and the higher the percent get, the easier it'll come into anything. Just keep in mind that it won't combo if they DI away. Tilt diagonally backwards and down and press A to perform Stature Smash. It'll trip opponents for combos and reads that will be shown later. Tilt back and press A to perform Flash Tornado. It'll be a quick and strong counter-attack move, and will be a lot easier to use if you only slightly tilt the stick rather than pushing it all the way. Tilt back and diagonally up and press A to perform Jump Sidekick, which can be good at disengaging from close or mid-range interactions as well as attempting to deny jump in approaches against you. If the C-stick is set to tilt, it allows you to tilt in any direction as well for all of these moves. Because we will also have moves that only happen after crouching first. Just pressing down an A will have you perform Nejiri Uraken. But finish your crouch animation and press A and you'll perform dick jab, <coughs> uh, crouch jab. It'll be one of your quicker attacks at close range for shield pressure and will also be a good combo starter. Tilt diagonally forward while crouching and press A to perform tombstone crusher. It'll provide almost full intangibility during the attack and will be good at counter-attacking grounded approaches. Tilt diagonally backwards while crouching and press A to perform crouch spin kick. It'll set up for a tech chase from 0 till 100% even with DI up. Release the control stick so you stop crouching, and during your stand-up frames, press A to perform Demon Godfist. It'll stun your opponents on hit and lead into literally everything. His forward smash is Glorious Demon Godfist, and is incredibly strong as long as you space it right and hit with the fist rather than the arm. Up smash is Double Twister and is a fairly simple move to anti air landings into you as well as pressure opponents on platforms. Down smash is Lion Slayer and deals a ton of shield damage. It'll also combo into almost anything on DIN. Tilts, aerials, but DI away won't allow you to get anything and you'll have to make reads instead. It'll also spike opponents that are airborne, so it'll be perfect to punish ledge jumps to kill, or if they stall at the ledge. By inputting forward, down, down forward, you'll perform a crouch dash. Your upper body will be invincible, so you'll be able to dodge lots of different projectiles and close in on your opponent. You can keep inputting this to chain it together, and can even be inputted by tapping the control stick forward and C stick downwards very quickly at the exact same time, over and over again for it to speed up. You can also dash back during the crouch dash to cancel it and move around freely. And you can also dash in or out at the same time as you flick C stick up to slide even further. You can even crouch dash and cancel it into a crouch so you can access your full crouch moves off of it much quicker. This can be done by crouch dashing first, and then inputting the control stick to neutral and then click diagonally down either way, to cancel it into a crouch. 
If you quickly press A after the last down forward input while crouch dashing, you'll perform Wind God Fist, which will launch them straight up for combos. Something you need to understand is that when the combo counter isn't showing something as a true combo, it'll mostly just be the exceptional characters with frame 2 air dodges or frame 1 options that can get out of stuff. But against the rest, you'll have a bit more room to push a bit further for more combos. After all, the CPU is mixing up their DI here and mashing jump or double jumps. Sometimes you'll see this white little bubble appear during a string and that just means that the opponent lost their double jump, so even better for you. The launch angle and hit stun will almost always remain the exact same till super high percents. If they DI'd away, you won't get anything guaranteed. But because you have no hit stun, you'll still catch people DI'ing in. In which case, it'll combo into up smash very reliably, up air, instant jump double jump forward air mix-ups, or up B. If you crouch dash and then hold the A button, you'll perform Dragon Uppercut which is a KO move and will deal a ton of shield damage. If you do this input while you have Rage, you'll enter a command input version of Rage Drive. Press the special move button during the crouch dash to perform Spinning Demon Left Hook. It'll be a really strong move to kill with. If you press A at the exact same time as the last down forward input, you'll perform Electric Wind God Fist. It's the one move you'll want to hit more than anything. That'll stun opponents to give you more time, and you'll now be able to combo into so many things. There will always be a reactionary option that you can go for to try reacting to DI, which is either up smash or jump down B, which can also be B reversed. You'll also have the option to read their DI instead. No DI, DI away or DI in can all be hard red with dragon uppercut, which will kill much earlier than an up smash. The opponent won't be able to act till very far down, and if you have perfect timing and a good read on their DI away, you can forward smash for the hardest punish. If percents are low and you want to make extensions, you could try to short hop delay neutral air and fast fall it right into other combos, and even another electric. With platforms, unless you want to make some kind of read, you could just try to combo it into down B or up B before they get to tech. Keep in mind that if you anti-air them with the electric, you won't be able to get any smash attack follow-ups, but instead you can try to kill them with up B, down B, or full hop back air. You can also see a blue flashing light that will point in the direction of where the opponent is going to DI, which can help you out as well. It'll also be impossible to punish if blocked, as you actually push them out of their shield and it'll deal a ton of shield damage. You can parry it for a punish or dodge. If you sight taunt, he'll do Demon's Wrath, flex on your opponent. Neutral air is jumping knuckle and the inner hit spikes, meaning it's great for calling out ledge jumps as well. Otherwise, it will also be safe to land with this move if you press it as low as possible to the ground since it allows you to shield, spot dodge, and even mix up with more attacks. You can do a falling neutral air into a ton of combos. Simple and easy ones or harder ones that provide a lot more reward. And especially because you have a frame 7 jump squat, you'll have a much easier time pressing instant jump double jump aerials with Kazuya, which will be incredibly potent for his combo game. There is also a late weak hit that you can fall in combo with. You can also buffer neutral air and double jump with more attacks before landing. It'll be extremely potent for combos and can even lead into somewhat of a kill confirm route depending on DI and SDI. Not only can you buffer neutral air into a double jump forward air, forward air, and follow it up into simple and easy combos, but again you're able to go the extra mile and try connecting your electric for a much bigger reward. Forward air is searing edge and will be a decent mix-up attack to quickly hit opponents or intercept short hops as well as it can be safe if you jump and space the aerial low against shield. Buffering the forward air and fast falling will allow you to combo into a grab, and landing the tip of forward air will allow you to combo into grabs, flash tornado, and electric. Landing the inner hit allows you to combo into almost anything. Back air is jumping Sobat and can be safe against shield if spaced and will be decent at corner pressure as well as anti-airing at high percents. And because you land with your back turn, you are also able to crouch dash away from the opponent. Up air is rising toe kick and will be decent as an anti-air as well as platform pressure. Landing it gives you combos as well. Down air is demon scissors and will be used to mix up your landings. It will be punishable against shield however, so be careful using it. Otherwise, you could use it to land quicker from higher launches, as well as edge guarding off stage from first jumping and then down airing while still being able to recover. Grab is sternum smash, pummels are slow but deal good damage, forward throw is double face kick, back throw is steel pedal drop, 
up throw is air inferno and will kill earlier than forward throw down throw is stonehead and will be your main combo throw from zero till around 30 percent where it'll either combo into a flash tornado or electric if they di away di in should let you combo into almost anything you also have a special throw called gates of hell It'll also launch behind you, kill the earliest, and do the most amount of damage. And of course, you can also buffer this input during a shield release. Make sure you familiarize yourself with all of these moves, or just print screen this image before you start practicing the combos that I'll be showing. So what else do you want to combo with? Well, let's start with Stasher Smash. It'll lead into grabs, flash tornado, spinning demon left hook for kills, electric which is character specific, and tsunami kick which, if you cancel it, can combo into Jab, an Up Tilt, or Electric. Keep in mind that this is only gonna work against air dodges that come out on frame 4. Frame 3 air dodges you'll have to make a read against. Either the Up Tilt will steal their jump, the opponent also won't get the double jump back after a slam, or you'll have to read the air dodge with something. You could also do only one hit of Up Tilt and cancel it into Jabs, Flash Tornado, or Electric. If they are anti-aired with the up tilt, however, it won't combo into things. Dick Jab Crouch Jab allows you to combo into almost anything. What's important is that the DI and percentage will never matter for these little mix-up juggles, which is why it can also be really good to mix up with them at low percent after landing aerials. The craziest part is that it combos into electric, and if you dash in one step and crouch, you'll cover no DI, DI away, and DI in because you auto turn around for electric loops. It'll combo at all percents and all characters. Frame 1 escapes you'll have to be frame perfect against, but frame 2 and 3 escape shouldn't be too big of a deal. You could of course crouch jab into up tilt and then electrical, but you'll stun opponents above ground level and it won't combo into a dash crouch jab. It might combo into a delayed jump neutral air, but that requires you to still read their DI, while dash to crouch jab covers all DI for more consistent loops. And finally, there's Devil Fist, which will mostly be there to punish opponents approaching too obviously, punish out of shield, read air dodges, read the tech rolls. It'll only combo into forward smash against the bigger characters, otherwise you'll typically try to combo it into almost anything else. And if you want to try to kill, you'll either try to go for electric, dragon uppercut, or spinning demon left hook. For lit trapping, as long as you're in the right position, you'll mostly be a threat with forward tilt, which beats normal get up, get up attack, potential double jumps in, and roll is covered by auto turn grab, so jumps will be played against a lot. And not only do you want to call it out with neutral air at the ledge or down smash, but by catching landings with electrics or grabs. While he hangs at ledge, you could also regularly get up and already start buffering the crouch dash. This will make him vulnerable for one frame like any other character, but then starting at frame 2, he'll start gaining upper body intangibility. His double jump back in with aerials is pretty slow and sluggish and you'll have to wait a bit before using an aerial which makes it even worse and riskier since it'll be a visual cue for the opponent. As well as his landing options and general disadvantage isn't that great in compensation for how punishing his advantage state is. Kazuya can't however just play his style of Tekken and will have to deal with jump heavy playstyles in Smash. Fortunately he'll have a grab that will be great at catching both aggressive and evasive landings because of the intangibility startup on his command grabs. He'll also have exceptional ground movement like no other character, as even his walk to shimmy around will be really good. Another thing is to constantly space around with your walk and crouch, to always have both your ground moves and crouch moves ready to be in use and transition between them fluently so you aren't just prioritizing one state over the other, unless the matchup really requires you to. Either way, neutral will be heavily dictated on your footsies, micro spacing, and crouch dashing. And then from there, it'll be all about clutch execution. Shield pressuring will be a slightly different game, because you don't want to focus on jumping and landing your pressure too much because of the slow jump and ground focused game, you'll mostly have to focus on playing a grappler or whiff punish playstyle, and counteract as many jumps and landings as you can. You could pressure with things like flash tornado, jump sidekick, stature smash, or nageri uraken, but it'll be character dependent if it's safe or not, and you'll have to be a bit more careful. Electric wind god fist will always be safe for pressure however. Remember that competitively if you aren't consistently getting electric then this character will be underwhelming as it's all about his brutal punish game keep in mind that the combos are very hard to get requires good specific timing on your inputs a ton of practice as well as rage might affect combos as well just like Tekken find two or even one potent opener and it might just be a stock
Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like the video if you liked it. And if you want to support my work, then please help me out on Patreon. And to all my Patreons, thank you so much for all the support. And feel free to come by my Twitch as I stream almost daily from 4pm EST.